hello and welcome to this video in this video we will try to clone the zomato user interface using html css and bootstrap let's have a look on what we will be building today so this is our header section this is the feature section these are the popular locations and lastly the Zomato app section. I am not gonna make the footer cause I feel the footer is not very tough and I want you all to try to make the footer yourself. So in this video we will be making the header only and in the subsequent videos I will be making all other sections. So let's begin. I'll get the HTML template. Let's change the title to Zomato Home. I'll be needing two libraries which I need to import. The first one is Bootstrap and the other one is Font Awesome. So for importing Bootstrap just head on to your browser and write bootstrap cdn just go to the first link and copy this similarly for font awesome you have to write font awesome cdn and you have to copy the import line i have already copied so i am just pasting it here now i am switching on the live server so can i can view my website as I build so what I'll be doing is I'll be writing the HTML first and then we will style using CSS so let's start with the HTML first is the header image So I'll give a div with id as header in img and inside this I'll be giving the header and the navigation menu so it will be div class and I'll use a flex box content would be justified to center and then a nav menu and three paragraphs this will be float left text wide these are actually bootstrap syntax and margin 0 then margin for 3 I'll write get the app now I'll just copy this one paste it two more times change this to float right this one also float right this one would be changed to sign up and this one to login so let's give this h4 and a class 
nav link give this also class h4 and a class nav link so the nav menu is ready now after the header i'll give a container this is a bootstrap class then again a flex box justify content center and a class header flex we'll be defining header flex in the css later now just one paragraph with class as zomato and text would be zomato below this div i'll give another div with sorry with class of flexbox and justify content center and let's give it a margin top 4 now an input for the search box type equals to text place holder would be let's say search for this is our quizies and i'm giving it a class of search box we will define the search box later in css and a button that is the search button actually so let's give it a class search btn and a text search so i guess the html is ready we'll go and style it in the css first i'll give the html and body a margin 0 a padding 0 box sizing as border box we we'll save it okay now we will also give an overflow x as header now we will style the header img which we declared in the html position would be relative width would, would be 100% of the view width height would be let's say 60 pixel no oh, sorry 600 pixel and let's give a background image it would be actually an image and above that there's a linear gradient so for that what we'll be doing is first give it a linear gradient to right or cd a you give it a black color with opacity 0.4 and again rgb a give it a black color and opacity 0.6 and again we will mention a url of the image you can give a static asset here 
I have actually chosen an image and I am just going to paste the URL here Okay, let's save and see. All right. So now we have to say background position as center. Background repeat as no repeat, and background size as cover. Now let's save and check. And now it looks good. So now we have to uh, let's style the header. To give it a width of hundred times the view width. Sorry, hundred percent of the view width and height of sixty pixel. Now we will style the nav menu. Let's give it a width of 60% of view width. Remember, this is a flex box, so this will actually be centered in in on the screen. And let's give it a height which is equal to the header that is 60 pixel now let's save and let's check yeah looks good so now we will style the zomato text so i'll say display block font weight boulder color let's say white text align would be center font size 50 pixel margin 0 and a font family let's say give this one now let's save and check okay let's increase the font size so let's give it 68 pixel now let's save it now yeah, looks good now so now we will be styling the header flex which we declared in HTML. So let's give it a margin top of 100 pixel and let's save and check. Okay. Now let's style the nav link. let's give it a border bottom border bottom of zero pixel solid black and let's give our transition of border bottom and 0 0.3 seconds and a cursor pointer now in the hover nav link colon hover i'll say border bottom as 5 pixel solid white let's save and check it out on hover 
yeah it's working fine now we will style the search search box let's give it a width of 30 times the view width sorry 30 percentage of the view width and a height of 60 pixel background color would be white border would be set to none a border top left top left radius would be 20 pixel and border bottom left radius would be again 20 pixel padding left i'll give it as 20 pixel outline none font weight bold and a font size of 18 pixels would be fine now let's check it out yeah looks good now let's style the search button now so i'll say search btn i'll give it a width of 130 pixel a background color of red and a text color of white border none border top right radius 20 pixel and border bottom right radius 20 pixel let's give it a font weight bold and a font size of 20 pixel let's save and check it out yeah so looks good now so our header section is complete in the next video i'll be showing the feature section so thanks for watching